Hello guys and girls, patient and impatient, welcome to Bug Access. Today we are going to talk about one of the most important repository for bug bounty hunting which is broken link checker on github. So you might have come across this many times but this is for someone who have just started in bug bounty. So it can help you to find broken links that are vulnerable to hijacking or have some critical data in it. So the first requirement for the broken link checker is to have the node version greater than 12. So I'll just provide the link here. So this is the repository I'm talking about. So here you can see that you need node.js version greater than 12. So when you go on this link node.js.org then you'll find the Linux download here and you can directly download this and you'll be ready to go. So I've already downloaded this and can show you the version here. So it is 12.19 here you have 14.51 so it has been upgraded now so you can download the latest one then uh, what you need to do next is you can just write here like you can copy paste this and it will uh, in my case it might give me an error because i've already downloaded it so you can just wait until all this download finish and you are good to go there so the next thing is how to use broken link checker so the command to run broken link checker is blc and then just write the web page you are looking for for example if i'm looking for tripadvisor and then i'll use the flag ro which is recursive so every time a web page find the new link it will go on a recursive check for that link i'll show you in the help section as well so you can see here that recursive the r flag is for recursive and o flag is for maintain the order of the link right so if you don't even use o link then it's fine but <clears throat> it is uh, very much needed to use the r flag so I'll write here so now it will start to scan the whole HTML page and it will take all the links and see if it is broken or not so this is the one of the most easiest thing you can find in bug bounty so here this link is broken so I'll stop it here so you can just continue and you need to check it manually as well if it is because there might be a false positive okay there is a help center page but there oh, url has been changed so <clears throat> this is not ready for takeover because every time you go on this you will be redirected to this one it is not giving any 404 error page or something like that yeah so that's it about this video this was a small one to help beginner in bug bounty so stay safe and stay healthy see you guys in the next video